Good evening, everyone. My name is Paul Young. I'm just going to walk you through economic and tax, tax policies, what's related to the overall Internet of Things in terms of Canada. So, my presentation is only one perspective of the Internet of Things. It's not deemed to be the only perspective. You're more an apt to go out and do a Google search of the Internet of Things and understand what's happening from the business perspective healthcare, education, or anything like that where sensor monitoring is required to get their perspective of what's happening in the market. Like anything else, when we get into new technology, and especially with the increased sensors of monitoring things, the more and more you're going to see changes happen pretty quickly and grow. Like Technology is always fluid. It's always constantly evaluating evaluating itself so as you move forward you just need to want to stay ahead of the curves to understand how this technology fits in terms of your business model a little bit brief about myself I'm a CPA CGA trade I actually like to talk about government policy but I also like to talk about how companies position themselves to better manage data better manage how they can handle downturns with cycles and better ability to use technology as part of their overall business solutions now I'll talk about what the Internet of Things is. I'll talk a bit about where Canada is in terms of things from an article that was in the Global Mail. I'll talk about the issues with the Internet of Things. I'll talk about ISP speed. I'll talk about the business climate. I'll talk about partnerships and government policies. Now the Internet of Things in a general is about monitoring and sensors. I won't go into all the specifics but it gives you a good idea in terms of this. Basically what it's saying is we're trying to avoid human contact and really how we do that with devices send a signal through a series of network and information gets back to a company in terms of monitoring. So why do I want to lead into a presentation? Like anything else, people are going to write articles in terms of what's going on in a particular segment. There some seems to be lack of clarity in terms of what business sees the role of Internet of Things. A lot of people don't truly understand what that term means. So gradually what will happen is, is companies understand in terms of their business, in terms of what they're trying to do in terms of tracking, in terms of sensors, in terms of monitoring automation of their equipment, and the whole overall cycle to kind of look at how they want to operate in a more efficient, effective manner. They'll start ad ad addressing this issue in terms of the Internet of Things, and they'll start to become more and more to the surface. Right now it's still in its infancy stages, so that's probably why the article was written to where it is. It doesn't mean people don't know about it, it just means it's a concept that people are not familiar with right now. What's it really mean with the, this, the move forward, the issues in hand? Well, anything else with a company, they secure specific things for IP addresses. IP addresses are what they protect for that information to come into a secured location. So that's what you want to do first, is securing those IP addresses. We call it whitelisting. Second thing you want to look at is the bandwidth. In an urbanized area, bandwidth isn't a big issue. But the further away you get from that, the more and more you have to have the network in place for the bandwidth in order to track. Especially when you get into rural areas and geographic challenged areas where signals won't travel as much, you have to look at that in terms of bringing that to the surface because that's going to impact monitoring. Second thing, latency. This is how the strength of the signal because depending on your network, depending on the users, okay, it's a pipe. That signal gets traded through this. So depending on how much power you have on your servers and depending on how much strong your internet signal is, it's going to impact that information coming back, how quick it comes back to the servers and to the company itself, which leads to the storage of data. So that data then gets stored. Okay. Now once we have that data stored, how do we interpret it? Because that data can come in as both structured and unstructured, so you're likely going to have to have automated tools that can extract that information and spit out reports. That report then can actually be used by doctors, it can be used by transportation and shipping companies, it can be looked at in terms of gas, line, gas or oil pipeline, it can be looked at in numerous things in terms of the tracking and censorship. So this is something to bear in mind as you're looking forward in terms of your company's policies. I can't talk about anything unless I talk about internet speed. This kind of gives you an idea in terms of the fastest providers. Right now, Bell and Rogers are the big ones. This is critical because the more you get into rural areas, it's going to depend who your ISP provider is, and that's going to impact where these signals are working with a company in general, who your, who your carriers, who's going to support your network in terms of getting the signals and the sensor of the information back to your company. Now. I pulled this two up for the Canadian business just to give you a perspective. They may not know business in terms of what the Internet of Things is, but they know what monitoring is. They know what sensor means. So basically, 
when you sell it to business, you have to kind of position it. It's all about monitoring, and it's all about the tools. In Canada's particular case, by 2019, the internet service market will grow to about a 13.5 billion. And typically, when you deal with a market that's growing, you see a lot of small entrants that come into the market because it's easy for them to come in with a concept, work with something in a specific market niche for that business alignment to help them support it. And that's what you'll see happen if you start looking at the top 500 fastest growing companies in Canada. A lot of them are IT related and a lot of them will probably will play into this space. You also see the big IT companies come into play as well, whether that's IBM, whether that's Amazon, whether that's other companies themselves will come into play in terms of from the cloud perspective to providing tools to interpret that data, to kind of look at the automation, the reporting, they kick it out so that people can respond to that information in a timely fashion. And that's really what that's getting about. The other thing that you move forward to with any sort of government policies or any business tries to do is they try to build association industries or partnerships. So what they've done in Canada is they're creating a partnership or an industry area to better support technology from incubation to market. So basically you could end up having where you have a common platform in terms of the sensor how that data is going through through the routers. So you may be able to share best practices around that to help get it to. You might also look at different ways how that data is structured to come up with the ways to do it. So it's ways to share things to help get things from incubation to market. So that's on the industry and alliance perspective. What government can do is continually look at its R&D programs to support these type of technology. The other thing too is innovation centers become very critical. A lot of ideas start university colleges and you want to get those from incubation to market. So you need to have partnerships between business and government to try to get these ideas out. The Internet of Things likely will start with smaller companies. You want to help that. How are you going to improve getting it to market here in Canada? Well you want to improve the bandwidth and the broadband networks. So in other words is more and more we get outside the to rural areas, the northern parts of this country, we need to be able to connect those signals so that information comes back through the, the networks, the wider local area networks to business in a timely fashion. Okay. I also brought in tax policies like stock options because usually with startup companies, part of the way they compensate people is through stock options. The government of Canada should not be willing, should not be looking at stock options right now, especially in technology, because that's an area where stock options are a key player in compensation. Are there other government policies in play? Yes, there's corporate taxes that you could bring into a small business. You could look also in payroll taxes, any sort of cap and trade that will impact these businesses. So you have to look at that as well. But in general, government has a role to support the conditions to attract business investment. Where are we heading with the Internet of Things? Like anything else, it will, take, it will go through an evolution. We're slowly starting to see that as more and more devices like Apple, Google, other companies are coming up with devices to monitor things. And it's critical to understand what's going in terms of the monitoring and what's that mean to the overall strategy of a company in terms of its business position. And that's where you start positioning solutions. What solution can be value added to that business to support better monitoring to allow them to have a more efficient, effective operations in terms of either tracking or utilizing their assets or their people in terms of positioning them for growth. And that's really what it's about too as well in terms of the automation side is also looking at how you better are you more efficient with your assets and how you manage them within a company. Now this, this presentation is only one perspective of the Internet thinks it's not deemed to be the only one as I mentioned earlier but it allows you to encourage yourself to go out from a small business, medium size, large business, whether you're in the public sector, private sector, whether you're in education or healthcare, to kind of understand what the Internet of Things means to your job, means to your company, means it to your institution as we move forward with technology advances. Thank you.